This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Time to get geeky, get awesome. It is the Awesome Cast episode 492, emanating at least technically live from Sorgatron Media Studios here in Pittsburgh, PA. Uh, myself, producer Misty, here in our imposed studio quarantine as usual. And we're doing some, if you guys are on video, we, 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 we kind of have a new configuration, a new workflow. So we're going to see how that goes. So if you, uh, I will probably swear tonight as I'm, I'm kind of sorting a new workflow for the studio. This is the maiden vo- voyage moving from, if, if those want to geek out enough about me, well, we'll do an extra video later uh, from Wirecast to Vimeo. So let me know how things look, how things sound, if there's any issues, if you're there live in the chat room. But in the meantime, well, let's uh, get into, uh, uh, we have with us on the line, Chilla is um, uh, again on assignment with Big Bank International. He's got a lot going on. Uh, but we do have a Dutters with us today. Uh, back Hi. again. Dutters, how are you doing? Good. How's it going? Good, good. So what what do we got in the background there today? I know we'll, we'll do a... Wait, is that the wrestling ring? Yep. I've got new fancy wrestling wallpaper, and it's interactive with an item in the room, which I had no idea until I played around yesterday. So that'll be nice. fun. Nice. Nice. Mm-hmm. So I, I love it, and I've I've seen that you know a lot you know as you know we know you know a lot of wrestlers have been seem to be getting into Animal Crossing and and they're like what should I do and I'm like I hear there's a ring and you should probably get one <laughs> so <laughs> but also with us with Bold Pittsburgh she's usually um, correcting us on our Apple knowledge in the chat room uh, Amanda Nar- Narcissi is with us today how are you doing Amanda good how is everyone. Excellent, excellent. How are you holding up? I know you've been uh, work from home for a while. Um, yeah, I'm holding up. <laughs> I don't know what day it is. I don't know what hour it is. I pretty much so am either in my office or on the couch. So that's it. About it. <laughs> I got to go out a little bit today, so that was nice. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, we'll get into everything with you here in a moment. But, of course, please check out everything at awesomecast.com. Please follow us, AwesomeCast, on the Twitter, on the Facebook page, and the Facebook group as well, where we uh, talk about a lot of the stories throughout the week. So please join us over there. And it's also, if you join us on, on Facebook, you can join us here 7 p.m., uh, more or less, uh, <laughs> if everything's working out, uh, more or less, uh, uh, Facebook Live every Tuesday, so you at least know what day it is uh, once a week. That's the service that we provide to you. Uh, so if there's a schedule, it helps you. I know Monday is is wrestling uh, with Raw. Tuesday is podcast night, and then and then we we get fuzzy after that. Uh, so hopefully we can help you start that week and get you on 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 that mindset um also please uh, uh subscribe to the show on uh on, po- on what your favorite podcaster please uh you can watch the videos on youtube and facebook if there's something we're referencing uh that you really want to see also instagram we, we have an instagram and some of our clips are going out on there as well so please follow that too and and please if you're if you're joining us live right now uh please share like heart whatever the case may be or if you're catching us later on the podcast we also appreciate if you rate review share the show as well uh so thank you everybody that does support the show there thank you to our audio partners the 405 media.com that's been uh, replaying the show uh uh, daily at noon Eastern time and our friends at post industrial audio post industrial.com doing some great coverage uh, of the rest belt and, and, and what's going on, especially with the coronavirus. I believe they, I think they just met their uh, Kickstarter goal recently uh, to continue that coronavirus uh, uh, coverage. So go check them out. My mom is in the chat room just as an update. She's uh, <laughs> let everybody know she's here. Mom. So good to know. <laughs> so, 
Um, thank you to our Patreon supporters supporting the show over at patreon.com slash awesome cast. Um, I was actually just looking into it and, and some of you guys have been on here for a while and it's, it's, it's cause we can see how long and how much you've kind of contributed to the show. And it's really astonishing to, to see how long you guys have been listening and contributing to the show or forgot that we signed you signed up for us two years ago. Whatever the case, thank you very much to our friends <laughs> over at the over at the um over at the coffee club level, Matt Weller, John DeGore, and John Carmen, and our friends at the fan of the show level, Michael Fedor, and pghmuseums.org. Uh, thank you so much. You guys can support the show, too, at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Um, so let's get into our awesome things of the week. Um, <laughs> who wrote in Abandon Us for Big Bank International on Chilla's Awesome Thing of the Week? <laughs> who, who, who did that? did that <laughs> come on <laughs> be You're nice to chill okay. Ch- chilla chilla has a kid a, a kid in a home job he has to deal with he's got the double he has whammy. children he has children <laughs> damn it we're, while we're all sitting at home playing animal crossing what's that he has one that's enough that's probably <laughs> enough. Let's be honest about that. Uh, but anyways, uh, so let's get into our awesome things of the week. Uh, Amanda, uh, <laughs> Amanda, you're, you, you're, it looks like you're, you're taking things old school. Oh, yeah. I, I, I looked today. I was like an Apple News. I'm like, come on. There got to be some tech news, like something that caught my eye. And literally, I have spent this entire time reading books. <laughs> what? Like old school. Like, I ordered books um, from, like, Target. I had them shipped to my house. I bought one on whiskey that was actually written by a local gentleman. Um, he's, like, he lived in Pittsburgh, but now lives closer to Philadelphia. But, um, and then I, I'm reading the most fascinating book about the fashion designer Betsy Johnson, who um and she's awesome she's the one that always cartwheels down the catwalk whenever her fashion shows are done oh really turns out (laughs) yeah and she's like like and it turns out she was like a cheerleader in college and Mm -hmm. she went to syracuse university in the 60s like it's her memoir and it's really really fascinating um um so i've been reading books i also started taking classes so i have one that is Actually, yeah, um, I took a class called Bar Smarts, so it's actually free until the end of this month, and this is actually really cool. So it's nine hours long, and it teaches you all the aspects of bartending. Hmm. It'll teach you, like, where whiskey comes from, how to distill, where wine comes from, how to make wine, and how to make classic cocktails, and it's about nine hours long. It's called Bar Smarts. And this it's- is this is at uh, barsmarts.com? Yes. Yeah, and it's really, really, really neat. Um, I'm up to winemaking, so mm-hmm. I've learned how to distill whiskey, which of course has become comedic because they're like, "When are we going to build that in the backyard?" Mm-hmm. So if you see me arrested in Mount Lebanon anytime soon, that would be why, because I started like distilling in Mount Lebanon. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> um, um, and then I I also started to do so Swift which we know is from Apple, Mm -hmm. which was always free as coding software, um, has moved to the Mac. And that was a couple months ago. You can download it from the App Store. Well, I like it so much better on the Mac because you can actually type out like the coding and you don't and it gives it a little bit smoother of a workflow than it does on the iPad. So I've actually been doing Swift on the Mac. So I've been learning coding during this time too which is something completely off the wall for me so 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 i need to employ you after all this in the uh in in, in the my, my apple project <laughs> after this i, I want, would like to start building apps that i think is the main goal after this i, I wanna, i'm gonna build an app i'm gonna have questions for you because i got an api just waiting for somebody to, to play with so <laughs> that sounds like a really weird pickup line to be honest uh, <laughs> that i think about it but uh yeah, the Swift is cool. I mean, it's it's the fact that it's free. And like I said, it starts out really simple. And then I'm mm-hmm. up to uh, like algorithms, if this, then that. And it mm-hmm. teaches it in a very childish way almost with the game and everything. But it's it's pretty neato. 
Yeah, it's a, and and yeah, it's 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 a it's a nice accessible one uh, for people with iPads. So and, and this has been have they been iPad only for a while or you just you just came came around to the Mac re- recently for it? I think it came around to the Mac in January or February. So it's been up. It's been iPad only up until then. I think uh, nine to five broke the news, and then Apple that it was about like J- January mm-hmm. you know, when they came to the Mac. So, and it's got a nicer workflow. I just think like the sidebar and the typing and the way it looks on the Mac is a lot cleaner than the iPad. So I wonder. So what what size iPad are you using for it? Is it are you using like a, a ten inch or, or one of the pro sizes? Is, is, do you think <laughs> that makes a, a difference? Mini. What's that? A mini. Oh, a, a mini. mini. That may that may. Absolutely. Be part of it, you know, because I wonder with that, you know, with our new kind of integrations, you know, is does that look like, you know, uh, uh, you know like on a 12 inch pro, is it just going to look like the Mac version, right? Yeah, I, I try to stick to my mini only because I can type really quickly on it with mm-hmm. like my thumbs like I do a phone, mm-hmm. but it, it, it's still to type out long compilations. I found myself putting it on my keyboard for the mini to type okay. out any type of lengthy coding. So on the Mac, it's a lot nicer that I can just sit there and type out everything. I can copy and paste it if I need to. I yeah. can do all of that stuff. Yeah. So That's awesome. Uh, Katie, what is your awesome thing or things of the week? Things. I've got two, mm-hmm. but they, they're pretty much the same thing. Um, if you're not familiar, there's a brand of knit hats. Uh, it's called Love Your Melon. And their mission is you buy a hat. They gave a hat to a child going through pediatric cancer. Okay. Uh, and now it, they've kind of switched a little bit that um, they're still providing hats to kids with, uh, with childhood cancers. But their, um, half of their profits go towards research for these childhood cancers. So it's, it's a great foundation. And uh, it was started by a couple of college students. And um, yeah, it gr- it's grown pretty large. They are working with Star Wars now, which is super oh. exciting. To me. They do they they'll do every so often they'll do collabs, like they did a Star Wars one, and then they did uh, a Marvel one, which they sold out of a ton of them because like when they go on sale, you have to order them in the beginning, or you'll be waiting for a while. Even if you order them in the beginning, I ordered these in January for pre-sale, and I just got them today. <laughs> So I do have some new winter hats. They're super cute. They're, I don't know if you can see, but that's a baby Yoda. Aww. And it's a, it's a really nice mint green color. And um, there's also a Mando. Mm-hmm. So I bought nice. both of these hats because, well, I, they were su- obviously super cute. And they're really nice made, nicely made. They're not super heavy, but they also make masks now. So if you're looking for... You know something a, a specific mask that you like or a color or if you're like i'm not great at selling you know sewing my own masks they're selling masks on there too and again half the process the pro, um, proceeds go to uh, battling pediatric cancers nice. so i'm very happy with my purchases so very excited um i know it'll probably be 10 degrees next week because our weather is downright ridiculous <laughs> Yeah, especially the way things are going, right? So <laughs> <laughs> it's ninety. Tomorrow's five. Thanks. Um. So I mean, so for me, my awesome thing is is I'm I I, I love the inventiveness as we're all kind of adjusting to everything. And uh, Twit is one of the podcasts I listen to, and usually I listen to an audio version of it. And uh, I, I threw this I threw this in there. I don't know if you guys saw it in the group. Um, but apparently they had an evening, an evening dress edition of the show where, uh, for, and it was some, one of them has grown a mustache over the last several months, I guess. And, and they're, they're wearing, one has an evening gown, uh, Amy Webb, who was actually a futurist that had some really good conversations. Um, Leo is wearing a tux in, during this. Uh, so it's, it's like a fully fancy, it's just a tech news show. It's just a podcast. There's nothing, there's nothing special. They had their anniversary last week. It has nothing to do with that. They're just like, we're going to dress up tonight. So <laughs> I don't know if it's like their, it was like their, um, this is how we're celebrating prom kind of thing maybe, but <laughs> it was kind of a fun um, um, throw. For, uh, it, it's rare that I'm listening to an audio podcast and have to go seek out the video version of it because I am like, I got to see this, you know, uh, uh, this atmosphere that they have going on there. So that, that was kind of my thing. Have you guys seen any odd, like, well, obviously the prom things have been happening over the last week or so, right? Yes, the some great news prom was kind of fun. The, like oh, the I haven't watched that, that one. The yeah, the um, the the, the office guy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like yeah. I can never pronounce his name. 
Those were kind of fun. Um, Krasinski. Yeah. <laughs> we we did a Star Wars trivia last night, and everybody made their backgrounds a different scene from Star Wars, and that was kind of different. Nice. I've, cool. I've been in them more than I've been, like, watching them. <laughs> awesome. Well... We'll see uh, see what else comes out there. Um, but uh, hey, want to give a shout out to our friends that have been uh, um, you know a, a good partner on the show, and uh, of course we've been uh, have been supporting us for a good long time. Our good friends at Slice on Broadway slash SliceOnBroadway dot com supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza for a good long time here. Uh, thank you so much, guys. Four locations here in the Pittsburgh area. Still taking orders. Are we talking? Even Crappy's getting it all the way out in Bellevue uh, area that he's at. You know, it's 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 everywhere. And uh, uh, thank you for supporting. Support local. Support these guys uh, so they can everybody can weather the storm. And uh, when we get back to everything gets back to normal, they'll still be there. Because I mean, we're already seeing um, the, the original hot dog shop didn't make it, and uh, over in Oakland, the, the O. And uh, and that's unfortunate. So please support support your favorite businesses, and uh, especially in this time, um, not just your favorite podcasts. Uh, so thank you so much, everybody that is supporting those guys, and thank you to Slice on Broadway for supporting the show for so very long. Okay, so let's get into Dave Potter had some stuff. Well, for, oh wait, first of all, let's give a shout out. Um, Chachi uh, is continuing his game journey. He's continuing his his video game journey, and let's see what he's up to. Uh, this week, um, as the site is not loading, he's up. To, he's up to, um, of course, doing the uh, Nintendo DS games, and the site is not loading. Uh, so, uh, just, so just go check in with that, thegamejourney.com. And also, he's got Facebook and Twitter set up too. Uh, so go check those out too. Um, Podner had a couple of stories. Here's one. Speaking of kids, um, and. Frog Pants Studios, who I, I know is like a, more of a pie, I guess I guess he does animation and everything too, or, or, or um, comics and stuff. But um, they are doing a kids drawing class over there that you can uh, be a part of online. Uh, so that's a pretty cool thing. A, a nice little and and again, I mostly I just know these guys for their podcasts, but they do a lot of gaming uh comic books and, and things like that they're they're kind of joined with like a lot of that daily tech news show kind of thing so it might be something worth checking out there so thank you to Potter for uh dave Potter for uh, uh sharing that along with us and also um Potter also shared with us a story about the um using uh, about the iphone se uh, Amanda, you you probably haven't had a ch- you you're probably at least reading up on it, right? I know you haven't been able to probably get hands on with something like that. I yeah, unfortunately, I haven't been able to get hands on. Typically, we're able to at this point, but um, I, I've been reading up on it, and of course, ha- I'm answering phones now for the company, so mm. I've been able to talk about it a little bit more to the customers. Um, but it is it's kind of an interesting model. I mean, it's like a zooped up eight in, with, you know, um, the power of an 11, which it'll be, it's great for people who just can't afford the 11. Mm-hmm. They like the size. They like the home button. I wish they would have kept the size of the S the original SE. Cause I still feel like that was what everybody's major talking point was. That, you, mean, you mean one of one of these guys here yes. that we're using here in the studio for some, some, uh, chat monitor monitoring. Uh, yeah, no, it's, it's, well, again, I have a plus, so it's a little more of a jolt to pick one of these up than, than my iPhone plus eight plus. It's like, that's like twice the phone. Right. <laughs> um, right. But no, I, yeah, I know somebody, you know, there, there's definitely people that, that probably like this size a lot better um you know hand sides and and things like that right but um it's been it's been more the conversation of the price of it than anything mm -hmm. um so over on halide h-a-l-i-d-e is the website this is what partner uh uh shared with us here um so this this kind of does a breakdown like this is you mentioned the iphone 8 parts apparently the camera is pretty interchangeable with it but also like yeah that's three phones ago but still an amazing camera (laughs) You know, it's still yes. a really good camera. Um, 
and they have a pretty good breakdown. And they say some of the parts, including that, are absolutely interchangeable with an iPhone 8. Like it's it's kind of just a repurposed iPhone 8 um, into the SE uh, format and, and and being a little cheaper. Did this replace the 8? I wonder. Um, they took the eights out of the store. They're not in refurbished, and they're not in really. Clear, so and they're this, not even on the. Basically, site this is the eight with a little bit more horsepower under the hood. I can't tell you what will happen when the stores reopen. Obviously, but mm. like I, you know, I'm sure there'll be inventory in some of the stores of the eight that they'll have to um, adjust to. But I don't know. You know, like yeah, as far as the online stores considered, it they took it down. Mm-hmm. They took them down. That's amazing. And it's, you know, again, with that, it's got the one camera and it looks like uh, from what it's saying that that the machine learning on the phone is actually kind of making up for the one lens for a lot of things. And uh, this article that uh, uh, Ponder shares is kind of sharing a lot of that, a um, lot of those breakdowns as well. Um, he said, is, yeah, so the big deep dive, and, and that's their app, uh, Halide. Uh, uh, they have their own app um, with iPhone SE, and they're they're kind of comparing what their phone is doing with that hardware and software combination to the to the uh, normal one. And uh, Ponder also reminds me that Scott um, Scott of uh, uh, Frog Pants Studios was an illustrator before podcasting. Um, so yeah, so uh, it's cool to see that that kind of reach out going on there too. Um, also, Ponder was all over sharing stuff this week <laughs> in, the, in the group. Um, there are a million podcasts. I did we? I'm surprised we didn't get to this point. Is that active podcasts? Because I mean, if you count people that have started like put one show out, I guess that could be a thing, right? Um, it's the worst time to get your, get your head above the water and, and, and get noticed right now, probably if you're starting I- a podcast. I wonder if that's the ones that are like registered in the major accounts because there's still podcasts that like go through SoundHound or go through independent mm. sites. I wonder if that's just through like Spotify and iTunes. Well, it's it's Apple that put it out, so it's it's registered with Apple. One million podcasts, huh. and 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 also remember, if you are dormant for too long, I believe they delist you, don't they? Mm. Um, like so, it's not taking up. Uh, a registry space or something like that. Uh, no, no, I haven't been delisted, but then like if your hosting goes away, like if you stop paying for your hosting on Podbean or something, right? It's going to, it's going to delist it. So it, right. it has to be active at this point. There's, there's, there has to be some kind of limitation to, to that. And I'm not seeing the, um, that in the metric data here, but um, yeah, it's got to be an active kind of number, but even that that's, that's pretty astonishing right now. So but that's an article over by Mashable that breaks that down. That's also in our Facebook group as well. Um, I just realized I don't know where the timer is on this new software to see how long we've been going with this. <laughs> um, what's that? Okay, seven thirty nine. I wow. I have to. Yeah, I have to like redo. Wait, where is the number? Now I'm getting lost <laughs> over here, guys. Um, so, <laughs> anyways. Um, we will oh, let me give a shout out here uh uh of course we got a lot of stuff going on working with a lot of clients over at uh sidekick media services our in-house uh over here uh in sorgatron media doing a lot of streaming helping out our friends the jag off with a lot of projects and uh and everything so please go check out everything sidekick media services uh superhero in your uh, sidekick to your superhero project actually and uh, helping out with uh, live streaming we'll do a lot of with work with our wrestling events church services uh, teleconferencing and helping out with a lot of that uh, please go check out more if you need some help go, go hit us up sidekickmediaservices.com um, so all right uh, uh, Dutters what is the what is the uh, uh, Animal Crossing update Okay, so I'm going to have to flip it in reverse. Well, actually, here, okay. I'll just do this. Okay. Uh, let's We're see on the move. Like... We're on the move in the living room. We're on the move. We're on the in move. The I'm sorry. Room. This is all new to me, too. Let's see. If I flip camera, mm-hmm. look at this. We're learning. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. The other way. There we go. We can switch cameras. And um, so what's happening in my room right now is that you... I don't know. Sorry. There you go. Uh, if you can see, there's wrestling wallpaper Jeez. on my wall. <laughs> what? Can you see all like the different lighting? So yeah. this is the 
the wrestling wallpaper, I'm working on building the ring. I'm, I need the blue corner. I have the red corner and the so neutral cool. corners, but I'm waiting on the blue corners. And um, I was gifted this wallpaper, and I have a bell in there. And I realized that if I ring the bell, if I walk over, ring the bell, friend. Sorry, I'm at a weird angle doing this with one hand. I am not prepared at all. This is very, look at this. That's we're okay. great. That's, that's, that's the theme for tonight. <laughs> oh, we're just a mess. Why are you not using your hand? Hold on, let me change my view. And burp, view, go, do. Oh my gosh, I'm really bad at this game with one hand. There we go. Let's do that. And me doing things and stuff and things. So if I ring the bell, the crowd cheers <laughs> and the lights flash. That's awesome. After that dramatic cool. build up, yeah. So, so, so the so the, the wallpaper themselves is, are, you know, for those on audio, it's a a you know crowd couple frame animation a guardrail and lights at the top of it that's fantastic thank you animal you crossing oh i know i had no idea i just was ringing the bell because it was fun for me and i was amused by it yeah and then the crowd cheers and the lights flash and it's cool and this one dude over here reminds me of uh aj styles <laughs> <laughs> like yeah i got a little aj styles in the crowd there but yeah so i thought that was super cool i hadn't seen anything about the uh, wallpapers interacting with objects yeah mm -hmm, so it was mm -hmm. a kind of a pleasant surprise and uh yeah it's a really cool thing i like it wow you just sit there and ring the bell all night literally i just just keep ringing the bell so is there <laughs> is there kind of a function can you kind of do like a sort of mock wrestling match when this this happens like can you well do... the problem is that the ring you really can't do much with it besides like roll on it like a bed okay good my friend she won't even. Don't, I can rotate it. There we go. But she like rolls on it. There we go. <laughs> okay. Oh, so you can't even. So wait. So we can, like, we can get two can. people into it and they can just like roll around together? Yep. Pretty much. You can roll around on the bed. Uh, the bobbles will bobble, though. The bobble heads will bobble. If you bobble them. Walk over. Bobble the heads. Da -da -da -da. Bobble, 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 bobble. <laughs> Sorry, wow. wrestler heads to bobble and bells to ring. Welcome to my house. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah, that's what's cool. That's some good wrestling and Animal Crossing. So this this has been your week week long project. Yes. Yeah. It was, it was well. I yeah yeah. Once I got the wallpaper, I needed to buy the ring back because I had actually sold it earlier. Because I'm like, this is kind of dumb. I can't really do anything with it. I think that's one of my issues with Animal. Well, it's not an issue. I shouldn't complain because there's a lot of fun stuff. But a lot of the stuff you get is not uh, interactive as you think it should be. Like you feel like it's, it's functional. It's not as functional as you think it should be. Mm -hmm. And I wish there was a little bit more functionality to things. And uh, like things that you think you could play, like have a board game. So you would think there'd be a little bit more functionality with friends. It's literally just like a game piece that rolls. But you're like, ah, oh, come on. <laughs> That's cute, <laughs> but I want to play. Awesome. Yeah. So uh, go go visit the island. This is on the island, right? You, can, people, can people visit? Yes. Your, D uh, I'm Dutters from the island of Dutters. <laughs> <laughs> fantastic yeah you can just ask me for my friend code we'll be friends so so uh keeping on the gaming side i, I found this story uh today flipping through uh this is again another mashable one and uh someone somebody turned a glock a real glock handgun into a clone of a duck hunt zapper <laughs> it's it's painted That's it's dangerous. It's got the gray and orange. It's uh, it's uh, and I think it's still. Did they? Um, yeah. It's no, oh, yeah. It's still. It's still a full functioning uh weapon. Apparently, um, I, I. In my mind, I was like, oh yeah, maybe they swapped up all the parts and it's a light gun. No, no, no. It's just a gun that looks like a zapper. So, um, kids don't. Yeah, I hope you don't have kids at home with this. It would look good in a case though, in like a gun case or something, right? So, kind of complete your collection of uh and what is it, wouldn't that be a fun way to hide your weapon in case of yeah. home invasion right and we're like you know somebody broke in i'm in my game room don't worry i'm covered <laughs> so but like, what are you gonna do with that blind me mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, wait, boy are they gonna be surprised right when you pull that out and it actually does something so there's that um uh, uh, Amanda, I know, I know, I know you got the the dock late, and it's been a little rough. Uh, but any, any stories sticking out there you want to talk about? 
No, it, it, I literally have not been doing too much. <laughs> well, there's, there's the pantsless reporter. Did you see that video? Oh my god, that was hilarious today. And apparently, it's Christopher Reeve's son, what? Superman. What? Yeah, so he is a reporter now for CNN. Okay. And he went remote in his house, and he didn't put pants on. But he set up the camera in an angle that literally, like, right underneath the little <laughs> you banner You can see thingy. it right there. <laughs> it was, like, his shirt and his pants. But the, the news story was, is that this is Christopher Reeve's son. Like, okay. The, Superman's son. That, that was the funny. And he, like, made a joke about it. And he's like, I finally arrived. But he was on, like, Good Morning America like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a, did he like, just, like, not? Was he completely doing it on purpose? That was a good one. That was a good story. I well, he said he had shorts is. underneath. But I, I don't think he realized that it, it's it's. It looks like a great angle, and you're just like, oh, shoot, dude, too far, too far. Yeah, yeah, like, you didn't check the edge of your, like, he's on whatever, uh, and, and a lot of these, are, I think they're using, like, cameras with viewfinders and stuff, and maybe the viewfinder is not terribly big on a phone, you know, and, and he's not seeing that little, you know, edge, I guess. So, yeah, because even, even in this picture that, that I'm looking at here, like, it's, it's kind of... It, it's just in that area under the under your title bar, <laughs> under your lower <laughs> third. And I love. And they're talking about pharmacies of the future using drones to deliver prescriptions to patients, which I yeah. think is a real story. Which is actually a story for this show, because apparently uh, CVS and Walgreens are going to be um, delivering their prescriptions to. Uh, and this is a um, this is a retirement community in Florida that has like 130,000 patients I was hearing. Uh, so it's a fixed place that they can, you know, that is a private area and they're going to deliver the patients with drones. So, and, and, and probably a similar area to when we've heard about um, the, the retirement communities that have uh, the driverless cars that are shuttling all the, um, all the, all the people that live there around. So, uh, uh, I did read another article today about the Alphabet stock in Q1 mm-hmm. being seven percent higher amid um, the ads not being there anymore. And we're talking about Alphabet, Google Alphabet, like Google yeah. Alphabet, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like their Q1 earnings are up seven percent. Wait, is it just use of things like Google Meet, maybe, or uh, possibly they reported forty one point sixteen billion dollars in revenue in this quarter. Like that's craziness. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, we're seeing that too. Netflix was reporting to be up um, currently, and how they're like going to lose nothing for releases for twenty twenty because they everything's in the can basically since they they uh, put everything out. Right? It's not like Flash, but you know, Arrowverse stuff on CW are having trouble getting their. Um, their finales won't come out on time. Like they're just their last episode or two because they're right. in production as the season's going. Whereas Netflix is like, it's in the can, put it out, you know? So it's, it, we'll see what happens as things go. But, um, but uh, I mean, it, it, it's, it's, we're only a month and a half into weirdness right now, you know? So I, I've noticed ads coming back on my podcast. Have you guys noticed that? Like I had one of my podcasts had like no ads for the last two weeks and then they had two ads at the beginning of it. And it's one of those mm-hmm. where it's definitely an inserted situation. And I was like, oh, you know, cool. They got, they're getting advertising. That's, that's, that's good for them. And then I'm like, wait, isn't our ad? This didn't happen before. <laughs> so is everybody <laughs> catching up now maybe? Or, or the people that need it are kind of jumping into it. But I, that's, that just anecdotally, that's something I found today. Otherwise, other than that, like everything just seems like, Everybody's getting the coronavirus ads out <laughs> in the meantime. But anyways, uh, so another fun use of um, scary robot dogs and iPads, Amanda. Um, the, the... I love that segue. <laughs> <laughs> scary robot dogs and iPads. Yes. <laughs> Keeping an apple and, and, and a little bit of Black Mirror. Because there's nothing more Black Mirror than this image. Um, Boston Dynamics robot dog is uh, uh, is uh, helping COVID-19 patients. So the idea is this is one of the, I think I was reading this earlier. Uh, I believe it's a, it's a, a tented triage unit. Um, and they will send the robot dog. This is the robot dog that we've seen in all the videos from Boston Dynamics doing 
like opening doors and stuff in recent years. They attached an iPad to the top of it and they go in and they interview the patient and it just trots itself on in. I think it holds the door for people too, actually, because that is a function of it. I see only have that one creepy picture, don't they? Uh, so um, there you go. That, that's a good use of that. Of course, this is this is just one in use in Boston, kind of trying this out. Um, they are working on um, attempting to work on finding out ways that they can use just the robots to do things like temp- take temperature and other metering things that they would need to do for you know to to really keep a doctor from interacting with a patient uh, uh, if that's risky uh, with, with with this situation. So um, creepier or uh, listen, you're sick. You're Ooh. sick. You, you maybe you maybe you got the thing everything's everybody's worried about, and you're sitting there. Then in trots, they, do they warn you about the dog first of all. Do they warn you that a dog is coming? <laughs> I would worry about the hallucinations. You already have a temperature of like a hundred and three, <laughs> like at least. When did you start to hallucinate at some point? Because there are like hallucinations you get with certain amounts of fever, and like. Mm-hmm. I'd be started. I'd be worried. I was like hallucinating and be like, "Excuse me, nurse. There's a robot dog in my room." <laughs> like, uh, uh, Katie, you're you're going through some procedures right now. If, if just <laughs> you showed up at one of them, and this is what greeted you, <laughs> nothing would surprise me at this point. I think <laughs> it's just like, oh, that too, huh? <laughs> that, this is a thing now. Got it. <laughs> All right. All right. Now what we need to do, because I'm reminding it in your background, we need to do. We need a robot at at. Yes. The, that we can with an iPad uh, 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 attached to it, and then that would just be perfect, right? Oh, that'd be amazing! I would go all the time. Yeah, I would. I would not be so whiny on chemo day <laughs> <laughs> if I got to see a robotic ad ad every week. Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. I got to go visit the ad ad. Yeah, but you're getting. Yeah, but I'm visiting the ad ad. That's that's what I do. You know, it's kind of like when I remember being younger, going to the pediatrician, and they had the cool wire toy thing oh, yeah. where you could put the, the beads on the and beads. stuff. It was just like, oh, it's the time where I go play with the bead game and look at the fish. <laughs> yeah. It was worth it. Yeah. It's, it's like cost benefit analysis. You're yeah. like, eh. yeah, that's right. We we're doing that way. Still doing the cost benefit when we were uh seven. Like beads. <laughs> I might get it. I that they do that thing where they stick the, the tongue depression in my throat and it was really nasty. But the bead game's there. And the lollipop. Ah, the, and lollipop. The, the lollipop. Pop has to the go lollipop. The My dentist yeah. had the stickers. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yes. And the toothbrush with the bubblegum toothpaste. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't get that one. <laughs> Did anybody ever actually use bubblegum toothpaste? I don't think I've ever actually <laughs> used it. It's horrible. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. I was like, oh, it's not supposed to taste like this. Because medicine tasted like bubblegum. That was the big thing for our age was everything, all the medicine they changed to taste like bubblegum. So we'd take it when we were kids. Mm-hmm. And then you're like, here's the bubblegum toothpaste on top of it. You're like, no, it's medicine. Or you get the medicine that tastes like grape. And you're like, this is what yeah. taste, grape tastes like? This is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, I remember getting a, I remember getting a Crest coloring book when I was uh, visiting the the dental school for my procedures when I was younger. That that's a big thing in my head right now for some reason. <laughs> or thrown back. Anyway, so what time is it? How long how long have we been recording? What are we what's going on? A robot dog's running this show now. What's happening right now? <laughs> it's fine. Oh it's no. Fine. Oh no. We're doing fine. Hey, you know what? It's 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 doing better. Like our Monday night show has been less about wrestling and more than just us talking about Legos and whatever <laughs> at this point. Um, well, well, here you got to think of it this way: it's it's we're dealing with an unprecedented situation, hmm. so we're discussing the things that make us happy, and these happy memories make us feel better. Yeah, you know, it's like there it's like, hey, that's that's how we're handling stuff. We're talking about stuff that makes us happy, whether tech wise or you know, not bubblegum toothpaste. Or... <laughs> Another creepy thing: uh, what if you're hitting your up your grocery store and uh, somebody is wearing a face hugger mask? <laughs> <laughs> I this is old. I know this has been. Uh, uh, some people probably already seen this on social media because it's actually from earlier in the month. Uh, this is from the the Nerdist had this uh, uh, listed. If my page loads up here, uh, a fan apparently uh, created an aliens inspired face hugger mm. mask for your kind of uh, COVID protection needs. Uh, here's a few images of it here um, <laughs> with with full like tail attachment as well. So, and there's what it looks like if you're with us on video when you have it on face. 
Um, I want a Bane mask. Yes. 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 <laughs> That's what I want to go to the grocery store and as a Bane mask. Katie, I think I shared with you a friend that it was it was a private post, so I couldn't really share it uh, otherwise. Um, but they were like, oh, we need masks to go, right? And thankfully not the one driving. She was just wearing a regular mask uh, so she could see. But the other two were wearing Darth Maul and Darth Vader masks. <laughs> so wow. I was like, does this count? You know? Yeah. Yeah. At least people are, I mean, that, that's when, and I kind of, I kind of was kind of waiting for this to be like, for every, like, okay, everybody has to wear masks. Now what are the creatives going to do about this? Right? Like I imagine, you know, I imagine the masks aren't going away for a while. And I imagine at a certain point I was like, all right, how am I going to up my mask game? <laughs> right? Uh, I, I'm thankful for so many years being in art school that I have so many bandanas. Like there really. You go. That's that's the truth. I literally just went and got all my bandanas and like hung them by the front door, and I just grab a, ba- a bandana every time we leave now. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's better than nothing, you know. And uh, and 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 I've I've redis. Well, you see, I've been wearing my my Baja bandanas because I'm like you know normally I, I have all these collected up for this time of year because I'm going to be somewhere <laughs> trying not to breathe dust uh, in in the desert or something, right? And mm-hmm. uh, uh, now I'm just like. Well, at least I can keep the spirit alive. <laughs> I'd use these uh, uh, right now, so it's it's been kind of nice and and quasi therapeutic a little bit too. Um, let's see. I I know I got at least one more to hit up here, but because uh, I I need to look into that one one story a little bit. I I saw this. I didn't read this. I just saw the headline and shared it in, and it didn't go deep deep into this. But the Library of Congress app that make. That, uh, that that makes hip hop essential old samples. I need to play with that. Just putting that out there. Would you you know it's on it's on the group. Don't even put it in the notes. Uh, but uh, it's it's that seemed like a fun time waster for later. Um, remember when? Um, oh, was it Marshmallow? Was that the guy's name that was in Fortnite? Yes, Marsh- I think so. Mm-hmm. Just I feel like Marshmallow is too. It was with no W, wasn't it? Well. His his uh, uh, concert, um, his is he? In, I don't know. He's he's in a mask. Do we really know? Uh, I'm not sure. But um, I'm not I'm I'm not down with the marshmallow lore. So I think I've seen him once without a mask. Okay. He does a master class on how to DJ. And he really? Took his mask off for it. Nice. I believe. But uh, Travis Scott. I'm not familiar with Travis Scott. I'm not hip. Um, his her his his. Fortnite concert drew 12.3 million concurrent viewers. It's really good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was really good. I got to watch clips of it today. It was really interesting. This this we were preparing for this, weren't we? <laughs> I mean, it, it it is awesome that it is this like persistent event space. I mean, I guess like so that's not just people like there, but they also broadcast it too, right? Like in video form like streaming. I believe. If, if it, if I remember how the marshmallow thing went before, um, let's see. I'm seeing the trailers for it. I'm seeing um, a video for it. Yeah, this is the way to go. Especially if we can't, uh, if all the concerts are canceled for the summer, this may be the way that we're doing it. I can mosh pit without worry again. <laughs> I, y- yes, I got to watch Post Malone do Nirvana the other night. Really? That was good. It was yeah, it was YouTube live. He set up uh, the like Travis Barker was the drummer. There was two guitarists, a guitarist, a drummer, or a bassist, and then him. And he was in his bar in his house, and um, he was in a dress like homage to nice. Kurt Cobain, and um, he played for like a little over an hour. They just played all Nirvana music. Oh, it was geez, amazing. Is. I need to watch this. It was so good. I've been like '90s nostalgia this entire time. Um, mm-hmm. uh, I got to watch Mallrats with Kevin Smith online. Oh yeah, he did a he did a watch along, right? Yeah. So the Focus Feature Film Company is doing this like once a week. They um, do it's like Friday nights. They do a film, and sometimes like one of the actors or the filmmaker joins the chat room of it and it's broadcast over facebook and it's not censored so mall rats uncensored with kevin smith like telling the story of like how they got stan lee to be in it and like all of this stuff because you have to think like that was mm-hmm. way before you know any like that was the second film so it was really 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 neat um but it, yeah like the, the post malone and 
Nirvana thing was awesome. And it's kind of a, a you know one discussion was about how Parks and Rec is apparently having a reunion show, and they're like, well, you know, Chris Pratt's not doing anything right now, so we can get him. <laughs> so <laughs> it's like the and of course they turn into a charity as well. So um, mm-hmm. Katie, I forget, are you on a first watch or a rewatch of Parks and Rec? Oh gosh, uh, third, fourth, okay, maybe. Okay, I, yeah. I couldn't remember if it was a first or not. So I'm in deep. Now. <laughs> You're what? I'm in deep now. You're in deep. <laughs> Um, I remember somebody was like, I, got, I need to catch up with three, three, three more years of Parks and Rec in two days or something. <laughs> so, um, no, that's awesome. Uh, that's cool. Uh, and again, you know, just a lot of kind of fun, inventive ways to do it. How was Post Malone doing the multiple people? Were they in different locations, same room? Like, where, how were they? He never really explained it, but they were, they looked like, like Travis Barker looked like his house because you can follow his daughter on TikTok. And she actually like gives tours of their house. So it mm-hmm. looked like his house. So he was drumming in his house. The bassist was in another room. Like you could tell they were in separate rooms, but okay. they played together like perfectly. If they're in separate rooms in the same place. They should be okay. Cause I, I'm trying, I'm sure they have access to better stuff than we do. Cause we, we actually did a test um, yesterday um, to see if somebody could play from two different places using the same stuff we use for this show. And uh, it just, wasn't going to work just the latency is too much and and of course i'm sure there's stuff you can get that that's higher end that i'll do yeah. that but, but still it's got to be i mean i i, I gotta say most like rolling stones like they had to just play recorded separately pieced it together those kinds of things here's the thing here's the thing you, you, a game you can play now when you start watching back since everybody's doing skype and it's crazy to listen to skype interviews on the daily show that have all the skype issues that we've mostly worked out on this show (laughs) like there was a good they were talking with the uh, mayor of atlanta and she was like cutting out a good bit um but uh you know play a game of is this live to tape or is this a post-edited deal right as you're looking at these skype interviews have have you guys kind of noticed those one way or another and how they're kind of working around those i would almost wonder if they're pre-recording some of those youtube lives just because of you know, FCC and everything else. Like, you know, you just have to kind of wonder. Some of those, it has to be pre-recorded. Yeah, just for technical. I mean, there's a lot that can go That's wrong, fair. right? I mean, if I mean, it's like this: when you have, you have people coming in from multiple points into one place and then going out, like there's a lot of points of failure there. So, I mean, it's one thing when you have TV production, satellite truck kind of thing going on, but when you're like, hey, everybody's on Skype man good luck <laughs> sometimes you're just like sometimes it's just not gonna work how's the satellite didn't work sometimes too right but true and i mean at least we didn't, we're not stuck with like talk show to do this oh geez yeah. <laughs> you know let's throw it way back old school internet and be like remember recording in talk show for so long i wonder how they're doing i wonder, <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how they're doing. They're bought and sold six times now already, weren't they? I've, I, I've had conversations with at least two of their C- CEOs about 13 years apart from each other. So, <laughs> <laughs> give you an idea how that goes. Um, anyways, uh, oh man, uh, there's a lot of fun stuff. Um, yeah, it's really just kind of keeping sane. Whether it be Animal Crossing, I live in Assassin's Creed these days. Um, so is Missy, basically. Um. I've been into Grindstone. That's my big one. Oh, it's such a good game. Yeah, it's worth it. When it when, that and um, that Butter Royale, which is like mm-hmm. if you took Fortnite's like bunch of people land on a map and the last one survives, but it's a isometric top down and your weapons are cotamans. <laughs> yes. Worth yes. playing. <laughs> worth playing. And you see, you're gonna, it's on Apple Arcade, so I know you're going to hop on it. I need Apple Arcade friends <laughs> that actually play because <laughs> I want to start like doing buddy, Butter Royales and uh, Pac-Man Party and, and things like that. Like, you know, it, it, it's like I, I got in a Pac-Man Party. I'm like, what do you mean there's no online march- matchmaking? What are we supposed to do with this thing? I'm like, just playing Pac-Man by it's myself. What's the what's where's the party? It makes me feel like this is the saddest Pac-Man Party. But the Lego one, too, where you can battle. Oh yeah, Lego Brawls has been really good since day one. Yeah. Um, that that's that's been a keeper on there, and that's that's still one that I go back to, right? 
Um, so I no, those are great, and I, I love between the Apple Arcade and, and Game Pass. Like I feel like I'm good on games for a bit. So uh, you know, you were talking about books. I was actually looking at a shelf of books. We've actually had like multiple books that people were getting rid of. So we have a nice stack of every wrestling book that I've ever wanted to read. Basically. <laughs> has been give, contributed to the studio um including some guests some fan uh, you know guests on the show i'm like i should probably read that guy's book um i might i might get into my physical books amanda Ooh. i was just considering Whoa. That. i might <laughs> i don't know i don't know i haven't read comics for a, for, a, for a good month you know uh, that's but, that is another thing too is i pulled out my comic books and started rereading my old comic books yeah yeah it's a good time to drop it. on that drop on your hoopla hooplas hoopla is doing some fun things um we're just we just meandering and i'm sure missy is driving missy nuts trying to take notes right now uh, but, <laughs> oh never mind I, she, I think she's playing grindstone or poofed or something <laughs> um from what she held up what's that piffle piffle um hoopla has, i began notification from hoopla that they've been putting out um hey go watch harry potter and the sorcerer's stone on our app and it's not going to count against your borrows because on hoopla when you get a book comic book movie on there it, it's a borrow for the month and you get eight of them for the month um yeah no that's that's um wow so th- so they're like giving away like come see harris harry potter free borrows uh, you know and, and, and i'm sure it's because of what's going on right now but you no know, some good stuff there oh boy katie do you know anything other than animal crossing uh some board games and a few books Nice. But that's about it. Coloring books too. Nice. Ooh, coloring books. Coloring books. I found a bunch. I was like, I knew I had more here. I was so excited. Like, are they regular coloring books or are they like adult intricate coloring books? Well, they're well. Okay, so I have the adult intricate ones. I don't enjoy those as much because they're too tiny. I get bored coloring, anyways. Mm-hmm. I have some kid ones. Like I have um, Lisa Frank, um, some Disney Aristocats. And then I also have uh, unicorn, unicorns or jerks and farting animals. That's awesome. <laughs> so there's a variety. Farting animals. Oh, a good mix. A good healthy mix. I like it. I like it. Well, Amanda, thank you for joining us on this oddball am- uh, awesome <laughs> cast tonight, sir. Ma- ma- the Amanda. <laughs> the the, Amanda. the Amanda. Thank you. How I'm doing. I'm going to drink some more coffee so I can talk about wrestling in under an hour. It'll be everything. Will, everything will be just fine. <laughs> Jeez, one SD card ruins my night. I swear. <laughs> uh, what's going on? Uh, boldpgh.com, of course. I, uh, we're under remodel too. Oh, so. <laughs> it's going to be scary. Mind the dust. Yeah, it's it looks odd right now. There's odd text and everything right now because we're under. Con- I'm rebuilding it in the background, but on the it, to rebuild it on the background, I have to change the fonts on the current, so it it looks really weird. Yeah. Um. So yeah, boldpgh.com, bold Pittsburgh on Instagram. Um, our YouTube channel is now up with the Inzer nice. bartender. Nice. So uh, you can check that out too, and yeah. Awesome. Katie Dudas, the Dudders. Of course, Kate Murray PGH on the Instagram for updates over there, including what what she's wearing to chemo day. Yeah. <laughs> me whining. A gift of the, the girl, the little girl whining on the floor because I feel like that's me in the morning. I don't want to go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. So most of my stuff's over there. It's, I don't know. I, and I like it. It's fun. Instagram is where, where I live most of the time. Yes. As far as but it's posting on social media. <laughs> yes. Yes. I, I, I just post pictures of my dog in the studio now. Yay. That's basically it. Basically it. It was just like this is my this is my interaction. So we've had t- we've had two visitors to the studio <laughs> in this whole time. And it's just like, oh and it's just like, you know, well with one's Aaron because he picks up stuff downstairs in his mail every <laughs> once in a while and sometimes we catch him. So <laughs> <laughs> Hey, stand over there. Let's have a conversation. Please, human, human interaction. <laughs> Is that is that kind of the reaction when you see someone like human, 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 human? I know that. <laughs> yes. Uh, thank you so much, guys. Thank you, everybody in the chat room. Uh, we of course be back here at 7 p.m. Eastern time if you join to jump in with us. Um, thank you, everybody. You have been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week.
This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.